Good day, friends. Welcome back to the channel. Jujibet here. Now, we got another replay sent to me by Xanthropus the Mercenary, and he's been involved in the Cup of Nations tournament. And this is going to be one with himself involved as the Gete up against Acero as the Odrissian Kingdom. Uh, let me just. Okay, here we go. So, apparently, it's a pretty good battle. We do have from. Let's just go through the uh, compositions here. Bow Horseman, either side. Uh, cost 420, pretty cheap. Nice nice pick there. Two on each flank. Uh, we do have Daisy and Heavy Bowman up the front. We got Spear Horsemen, three of them. Four Spear Warriors. Uh, four Noble Swords, including the General. And up the back is one Folksman. Now, for Acero, we do have Spears on either flank. Looks like he's got little wings organized here. Let's just go through the core. Uh, mercenary Veteran Hoplites and a Mercenary Hoplite. Uh, Thracian Nobles in the center, two Thracian uh, Warriors, one Thracian Skirmisher, a Spear up the back. Uh, Thracian Cav, four of them, pretty good pick. Thracian Nobles out in the flank, so he's got two of them, so three Thracian Nobles all up. Uh, Thracian Peltas, Thracian Skirmisher, Thracian uh, Peltas, Thracian Skirmisher. So. It's it's quite obvious he has three wings organized, um, Acero. He's got Thracian Cav, Spears, and these Peltas um, defending them. So it's going to be interesting to see how he uses that. Now, the Bow Horsemen do have excellent range compared to the Thracian Cav, but uh, he's going to have to be careful he doesn't take any shots from those Thracian Peltas, really. Um, in the center, he is left pretty weak. Um, so I think the name of the game... Uh, for Xanthropus, at least, is going to be to probably take a, a bunch of preliminary shots. He does have the uh, Heavy Bowman to do it. He's got lots of uh, firepower. Wow, look at this. A bit of an opening opening up. Thracian Peltas just left uh, wide open, and the Spear's just scrambling to get there in time. We do have Thracian Cav pushing up. He's just charged in. He's, he's wiped out about 15 of them, and he hasn't lost a man yet. Only just dropping. These Peltas getting some excellent shots in the Bow Horseman. So, um, Xanthibus does have the range, and it looks like he's going to be trying to use that to his advantage here. What do we have? Quick reload. Getting a lot of... Wow, a lot of kills there. That's excellent. 27 so far. Good stuff. The Spears chasing off the, um, the Spear Horseman, who only got away with seven, seven losses. Excellent stuff. Spear Warriors pushing up. Being a little bit too hasty, I think. You might want to be pulling these, these units back here. Yep, looks like he's going to try to do that. Might be a little bit too late. Yeah, he's just going to commit, which is not a bad idea. Now, this may just cause a little bit of clumping up to happen. But look at this, a bit sneaky. <laughs> the most expensive unit on the field uh, is a Thracian Nobles, I think. And look at this. Expert. Um, like an expert, Xanthropus has kind of spied that uh, of his opponent. And he's going to start to fire on them with the Dacian Heavy Bowman. And he's picking up a lot of kills. Look at that. They have pretty good armor, but they don't have a missile block chance, so this is going to be worth its weight in gold, whatever they can take out with those Thracian nobles there. Eventually, he's going to have to pull back, and he is now with the mercenary Hoppates pushing up. These bow horsemen haven't really been activated just yet. We do have a bit of a, an engagement over here. Spear horsemen charging into the uh, Thracian Peltas, and a noble sword committing itself to this fight. Now, crucially, the Thracian noble did not get a charge, I don't think, so it's not going to pick up too many kills here. Yeah, look at that, only taking 12 losses as he enters the fray. And it looks like a couple of these uh, Thracian Peltas are not even able to throw their, their javelins because they are committed. Uh, noble Swords over here have been committed to the fight with the Mercenary Varian and Hoplites. They're going to be pulled out. Only one of them is going to be uh, kept in this engagement, which is not a bad idea. And just in time because the Thracian Noble is coming over here to, to help out. Xanthibus is doing a pretty good job so far. It looks like these uh, Mercenary Hoplites at the front are just kind of left playing with themselves. They're, they haven't really got a job to do aside from soak up missile fire. And it looks like Xanthibus is uh, smart enough to avoid doing that. The Noble Swords picking up a lot of kills in extended combat. They'll, they'll do pretty good against the Thracian Nobles. But look at this, another Thracian warrior is being uh, committed to the fight. Shield Ball and Headhunt have been popped. Uh, another Noble Sword coming out here to help out. And it looks like, look at this, Acero is just piling everything into this fight here, desperately trying to take out that Noble Sword. Uh, and the Spear all the while is pushing back the Bow Horseman. So a very nice move from Acero over here. He's actually made a very nice, uh, very nice uh, position out of this. Mind you, he's probably going to lose a Thracian Noble and a Thracian Warrior. Wow, look how quickly these guys just 
dissolved. Excellent shots here. A really nice angle coming in here from these uh, Thracian Cav and the Thracian Peltists. A couple of different units in the center of the battlefield uh, are losing out. A Noble Sword is holding strong up against these two Spear units. It's probably going to win that engagement if it keeps keeps itself in there. But look at the fire coming in from uh, from Xanthropus here. The Dacian Heavy Bowmen and stuff are going to be targeting the Thracian Warrior. Again, these units do not have a mixed up block chance, so he's going to be picking up a lot of kills very quickly there. Over here, Spear Horseman. Uh, again, again with the, uh, the Peltas. Undefended. Thank you very much. Then Xanthropus is going to be charging in and taking them out. Uh, if you can do it with a good charge. It's Noble Sword. I think the General is actually still alive at this point. Which is amazing. No, General recently died. So the General is dead for Xanthibus. So it's going to be a, a bit of a morale shock for the rest of the units on the battlefield. But most of the weaker units are already dead. Ah, these spears are going to be struggling in combat. So he's going to have to pull them back. Over here, the uh, Hoplites are going to be pushing. But um, the infantry has held very well from uh, Xanthibus. He's going to be pulling up with a couple of these noble swords. But there's just been an absolute hailstorm of, uh, of javelins coming in here from... from Acero. And the spear warrior is going to be pushing back all these skirmishes. Oh man, Thracian nobles are going to make absolute mincemeat out of these guys. This is absolute murder. Those nobles are going to be doing quite well for themselves there. But it looks like he's happy to uh, to sacrifice the Spear Warrior if he can push back the enemy skirmishes. Good idea. And look at the back here. Spear Horseman and Bow Horseman waiting in the rear just to kind of take advantage of this kind of situation. So, very scattered battle at the moment. We do have Spear Warriors coming up against Hoplites. Of course, the Hoplites are going to win over there. Wow, interestingly enough, these Dacian Heavy Bowmen have been uh, activated. Don't know if that was a mistake. Probably not. They may have just been out of ammo at that point. And he's just trying to, to hold those Thracian Cavalry down for a little bit. Uh, mind you though, these Peltas and Skirmishes must be close to running out of ammo. Surely. These guys are. These guys are out of ammo as well. So he probably should be ignoring those units. Though he probably didn't have time to have a look at the uh, whether each unit was um, out of ammo or not. A couple of Noble Swords left in the field. Bow Horseman is struggling to deal with the uh, Thracian Peltas over there. And the Spears are, have also joined the fight. And he's going to be able to get them out... Out of combat, uh, relatively unharmed. These heavy bowmen actually going to be chased off the field by uh, Thracian Cav. That's a very heavy blow for uh, Acera, doing a great job at getting rid of the enemy skirmishes. Desi and heavy bowmen in the center getting awesome shots in here. This is, this is absolutely crucial. Picking up a lot of kills in a very short amount of time, I'm sure, on these Thracian nobles. Mind you, they only picked up one kill. That's bizarre. Uh, <laughs> we do have that Desi and heavy bowmen. Um, Undefended, so it's been a bit of a back and forth in this match so far. In terms of defending skirmishes, um, both players have made the mistake of leaving their skirmishes undefended, and it looks like we do have these Dacian heavy bowmen left on the field. Interestingly enough, uh, he's left them alone, and he's elected to go after these uh, spear warriors and crash into the back of them. Might not be such a bad pick if he's going to uh, finish off these spear warriors quicker. The mercenary Hoplite is struggling with 28 men left. A veteran Hoplite over here in pretty good health. Though these uh, Thracian nobles are going to be an absolute pain to deal with. And look at these guys circling like buzzards, like vultures, looking for an opening. Nice charge in here on the, uh, on the Thracian nobles. So these guys have a very good bonus versus large, so they're going to make mincemeat of that unit as well. So picking up a lot of kills. How many so far? 146. And he's only really been in two little bits of combat so far. If he's got any ammo left, he's going to want to concentrate it onto this uh, Thracian Noble. So Xanthibus has got a lot of units left. He's got Noble Swords, Noble Swords, Folksman, Noble Swords. So it looks like he's only really committed units where he knew that he would be able to win. Uh, Spear Horseman held up here for, for a moment. And it looks like these uh, Thracian Nobles are going to go after them. I wonder if the Thracian Skirmishers actually have any, uh, have any ammo left. Oh, and we have got general on general combat happening here. This is where it gets decided, I'm sure. The noble swords are going to do quite well in extended combat, but if the Thracian nobles got an actual charge, they're actually going to make mincemeat of these guys, just like that. I keep saying mincemeat, I don't know. It just goes so well with uh, the, the Thracian nobles. They just seem to make mincemeat out of everything. They're very expensive, but they can pay off if you uh, use them in the right way. Oh man, full frontal. Not a bad charge, it was a bit bizarre because some of the lines are kind of skewed. 
So they're going to pick up a, a bunch of kills over here against those Folksmen. But probably not going to do too well against the Noble Swords in extended combat. We do have Headhunt being pup, uh, activated, which makes them unbreakable for a short time. Very close match, actually. Oh, uh, mind you, we do have some Noble Swords out there. Nah, pretty much GG. It's very close combat over here, though. Noble Swords, 58 men left and 51 Thracian Nobles. Headhunt has been activated by the Noble Swords. And second win, so the fatigue has just been lowered. Going to be extracting the uh, Folksmen and getting ready for another charge. Not a bad idea. We do have two more Noble Swords coming out over here. So these guys are only winded. So they are going to be able to get a couple more kills at least. Down to 40 men, still attacking. The charge in from the Folksmen is actually going to be quite effective. They do have an excellent charge. And look at them dropping very quickly. Oh my god. 73 kills on a Folksman. That's amazing. 185 on the Noble Swords. 228. Get out of town. Lots of kills and lots of different units there. That was actually a very close game in the end. Uh, but yeah, Xanthrop is doing a pretty good job with the Noble Swords. Committing them where he really needed to. Every single one of them getting lots of kills. As you expect in a, um, in a Gete versus a Drissian Kingdom matchup. The Dacian Heavy Bowmen doing quite well. Um, and it didn't look like the Adrissian Kingdom had a proper uh, response. Lots of javelins, Jesus Christ, Thracian Cav, uh, Thracian Skirmishes, Thracian Peltas, all getting a, a reasonable amount of kills, but I mean, they just couldn't be... Def I, don't, I don't know, if, you, if you're going to try and defend your nobles and your Thracian warriors, uh, I don't know if you can do it with Peltas and Skirmishes. Of course, he had the spears up the front that were uh, meat shielding, but I mean, they only last for... You know, so long and they get picked to pieces. Um, but yeah, the Dacian Heavy Bowmen doing a great job. All of the cavalry and all the bow horsemen were actually used pretty well by Asanthibus uh, in getting behind the enemy lines and just kind of taking apart the enemy skirmishes. So, excellent job, uh, Xanthibus. I guess he's going through in the Cup of Nations tournament. And Mr. Acera, we'll see if he's uh, going to be going into a, another match there as well. This is actually a pretty nice um, army pick. I think it's it's really nice. So, Adrissian Kingdom, you know, it, it either works or it doesn't. And I think today, um, at least up against the Gete, it, it didn't work. Um, in a lot of other situations, you know, he may have just steamrolled an opponent with this kind of build. But uh, unfortunately, today was not the day. 275 kills in there on the Thracian Noble there. I think I've seen Bobby get like 600 or 500 kills with this guy. Um, some insane number of kills you can get with that Thracian Noble. So anyway, thanks for sending the replay, Xanthibus. We've got a couple more coming out with the Cup of Nations tournament. Uh, games being played every week. So we'll see you back here on the channel. This is GGBest signing out. Peace.